Okay, so what I'm going to do now is actually shift gears from the, the market, the digital marketing aspect of all of this and kind of talk about another FAQ that I get which is what equipment do you typically use, Mel, in your, in your, uh, in your videos because I produce a lot of videos and the thing I actually say to a lot of folks is, you know, something like a, a flip camera HD, ultra HD, okay, is a very nice one. There's also a Kodak ZI8 that's also a good uh, camera, I think. And what makes that good for, uh, you know, I was about to say beginners, but I know that there are also a lot of uh, uh, folks that have been doing video blogging for a while, and they've got all the high-end cameras, and they love the, uh, the flip camera in the Kodak ZI8 as well. The thing that makes it cool is, See that little USB port on the side? Once you've actually, it's just literally point and shoot, point and click, right? Point and record. When you're done with the whole thing, you just plug it into the side of your, uh, your computer and it launches its own software that then walks you through the process of uploading the video from your camera, transferring it to computer, and then doing the editing. Now, the thing with this though is with the flip camera, I think the only uh, challenge I have with the flip camera is it does not have a port where you can actually plug this little lapel mic into it, okay? The Kodak ZI8 does. Now, the other thing I would say too, that you'd probably have in terms of equipment, you need some kind of a lighting source, okay? Um, if you're outdoors, actually outdoors is free, so that's not a problem. The sun is great. Actually, you know, actually direct sunlight is actually not as good as if you have an overcast day. An overcast day is actually pretty nice, but if you have direct sunlight, go find yourself a tree and sit under the shade and do your recording there. That's perfect, but if you're indoors, you'll need some kind of a lighting source, typically what's called three-point lighting, maybe a couple of these umbrella ones or whatever, or box lights and so forth. Uh, these, I looked up Real quick, they were like between the range of 65 bucks to 250 bucks on eBay. Okay, uh, 250 I think on um, Vona.com if you bought it uh, new and so forth. But eBay still rocks, I think, for some of this stuff. Now here's a little known fact. Okay, just a little tip. Uh, really. <laughs> A uh, frosted shower curtain can also work as a nice diffuser for your light as well. So maybe you have some bright lights at home and you don't want to go out and go buy anything right now. If you've got a frosted shower curtain, just run the light through that. Uh, there's a shower curtain, lights on the other side, here I am, the talking head, and there's the camera. And then try that as well. That could work. And, and I'm all for poor man's video. I'm all for all of these poor man things. So they work great. Because, because we're not creating the next sequel to Avatar, right? We're creating web video, okay? Exactly. All right, in terms of the computer, um, the platform that you need, Macintosh, I'm a Macintosh guy. Um, PCs, something on the order of two to four gigabytes. Obviously, gigabytes, by the way, of RAM, okay? If the more you have, the better, okay? I mean, I, you, can, you can never go wrong with more RAM, but at least I'd say if you're doing anything less than that, you're going to be hating life. You, you'll think, what well, Mel was talking smack, okay? Uh, <laughs> the other thing is, then you need the video editing software, okay? Now, for, for the Macintosh, and let me push the next button too because some of you guys can say, well, but, you know, but the PC comes with Movie Maker and the Macintosh comes with iMovie and Macintosh also comes with Final Cut Express HD now, right? Yeah, but it's just so labor-intensive. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> right. I'm a Final Cut guy, so... <laughs> yeah, and that's not a problem. Uh, iMovie is nice. I, I hear iMovie on the Macintosh is what we're talking about. iMovie 09 comes bundled with your Macintosh and actually is a pretty nice application, I get to say. The only thing I would say with iMovie, though, is it does not... Remember when I was talking about you can use a digital recorder or an iPhone as you're walking around lapel mic or whatever? Well, it kind of helps to be able to have it be, have your audio when you import it into your software to be able to be displayed in a certain way called the waveform. And you actually see them as like squiggly lines and so forth. And the way I do my videos when I, sing, when I use that process and I sync them up is to sync them up, I just do this at the beginning of the video. What that does is it creates three spikes in this waveform that you can visually see when you get into your editor. And it records that both on my iPhone or whatever digital voice recorder you're using, and it records it on the camera as well that's recording the crappy audio, okay? But you don't use the crappy audio later on except other than to sync up those three spikes from your audio that comes from your digital voice recorder with the crappy audio that's on your, on your camera, okay? You sync them up. Now you don't get the little, what I called the, the B-level martial arts movie effect where <laughs> where are we going today? I don't know. Right? So that is exactly. So, so <laughs> there you go. So just that, uh, and I think those, those are the things. Now, I will also say with the Macintosh, I'm hearing a lot of good things about ScreenFlow. I use, it's actually screencasting software. So that's the other thing. We'll talk about that in the 115 session because there's more to video than just, than just us talking or panning around and seeing live pictures of the world. There's actually, if you think about 
what am I doing here? You know, uh, this is a PowerPoint presentation, right? You can actually turn this, think about creating a PowerPoint presentation that is a buyer consultation series or a listing, a pre-listing presentation series, okay? That might be a 30 minute long thing in its duration when you actually sit down with someone, but if you put it together in PowerPoint, okay, and then you break them up in six minute segments, now you've got content that people will come back for on your blog, okay? And they sign, they'll sign up for those things, okay? And you can take this kind of a recording using ScreenFlow as a software or another one called Camtasia that, that has a Macintosh version and also a PC version and I tend to be a Camtasia guy. Um, you can actually then record some of, these, some of these things. Okay, so this is basically the equipment. There are some optional things here. I think the big things that you need is going to be obviously the camera source. I think this is general, technically optional, but you know, if you can pay attention to your audio as much as you can, that would be great. You need some kind of a lighting source, you do need some editing and so forth. These technically might be optional because you do have Movie Maker on the PC, works fairly well. Uh, you have iMovie on the Macintosh that I, I love because I saw you guys in Ted Mackle work it a little bit and it, it works great. So uh, I think that's basically the equipment that you would need. We are coming down to the end of our line here, but I just wanted to quickly show what the workflow of this stuff looks like. And Bonnie, you'll appreciate this.